Hi, I'm Garvin. This video is on cholesterol. So high cholesterol, or cholesterol is a waxy substance that's found in the fats or lipids in your blood. While your body needs cholesterol to continue building healthy cells, having high cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. When you have high cholesterol, you may develop fatty deposits in your blood vessels. Eventually, these deposits make it difficult enough for blood to flow through your arteries. Your heart may not get as much oxygen-rich blood as it needs, which increases the risk of a heart attack. Decreased blood flow to your brain can cause a stroke. So high cholesterol can be inherited, but it is often preventable and treatable. A healthy diet, regular exercise, and sometimes medication can go a long way towards reducing high cholesterol. High cholesterol has no symptoms. A blood test is the only way to detect high cholesterol. Cholesterol is carried through your blood attached to proteins. This combination of proteins and cholesterol is called a lipoprotein. There are low density lipoprotein or bad cholesterol transports cholesterol particles throughout your body and very low density lipoprotein. This type of lipoprotein contains most of the triglycerides, a type of fat attached to the proteins in your blood. There's also high density lipoprotein and they're called good cholesterol. And this good cholesterol picks up excess cholesterol and takes it back to your liver. Factors within your control, such as inactivity, obesity, and an unhealthy diet contribute to high levels of um, low density lipoprotein cholesterol and low density and high density cholesterol. Factors beyond your control may play a role too. For example, your genetic makeup may give cells from keep cells from removing low density lipoprotein cholesterol from your blood efficiently or cause your liver to produce too much cholesterol. You're more likely to have high cholesterol that can lead to heart disease if you have any of these risk factors. Smoking, obesity, poor diet, lack of exercise, high blood pressure, diabetes or family history of heart disease. Lifestyle changes such as exercising and eating a healthy diet are the first line of defense against high cholesterol. But if you've made these important lifestyle changes and your total cholesterol and particularly your low density cholesterol remains high, your doctor may recommend medication. Lifestyle changes are essential to improve your cholesterol levels, to bring your numbers down, lose excess weight, eat healthy foods and increase your physical activity. If you smoke, quit. A few natural products have been proven to reduce cholesterol, but some might be helpful. Artichoke, barley, psyllium husk, garlic and oat bran. The same heart healthy lifestyle changes that can lower your cholesterol can help prevent you from having high cholesterol in the first place. To help prevent high cholesterol, you can lose extra pounds and maintain a healthy weight. Quit smoking, eat a low fat, low salt diet that includes many fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Exercise on most days of the week for at least 30 minutes and drink alcohol in moderation, if not at all. Optimum total cholesterol is 5 millimoles per litre or under. Optimum low density cholesterol is 3 millimoles per litre or under. And optimum triglycerides is 2 millimoles per litre or under. Optimum high density cholesterol is 1 millimole per litre or under for men and 1.2 millimole per litre or under for women. If you have any questions, you can ask me through our live pharmacist on the website, email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas in Cork. Thank you for watching.